I've noticed during my time uh, teaching here in South Korea that there are some foreign teachers that struggle with their relationships with their co-teachers. And although the reasons may be or could be various, uh, maybe just uh, the chemistry is bad between the two people or uh, the, the, the Korean co-teacher is having a bad day or a bad week or bad life, um, or um, maybe it's an undisclosed reason and probably one that, that you'll never find out about. I think that those reasons are generally not um, the majority but the minority of the cases uh, for people that struggle with their relationships. Um, if there's one bit of advice that I could give to anyone who's here struggling or um, thinking of coming here or on their way, um, that has proven time and time again in my own particular case to definitely enhance my relationships with everybody in my school from the principal to the head of administration to all the teachers and to the students. Um, although many of you may think it's to learn how to speak Korean, yes, that is a, a, a great thing to do, but that is a long-term goal. Um, the one thing that I would advise uh, everyone to really put a, a meaningful effort into is to sit down at lunchtime and eat the food that they serve um, with, your, with your coworkers. I can't tell you how many times, and I am half Korean, I, I look the part, but they know that I'm the guest English teacher, and time and time again, dozens of times, um, at every level, people have stopped and said, oh, you eat the food? Uh, do you like the food? You don't like, the food's not good, is it? Nah, I don't like, the food's not good. And they, you know, they're looking for excuses, why it's bad, and do I like it? And they walk away with a with a uh, with a genuine smile on their face, and the relationship thereafter ha is always uh, improved. Um, I mean, just imagine if uh, you invited a friend over to your house um, time and time again, or if you invited your girlfriend over to your house, and every time that your mother cooked your food cooked food for you, she said, "Oh, no thanks." After a while, you have to start to wonder what is why you know that's. Uh, why are you not eating our food? What is wrong with our food? Um, the same thing would, is going to go for uh, the situation at, at work. And although they do understand that we're foreigners, um, it's such a great gesture to try and partake of what they hold so dear to them and what every cult culture holds so dear to them, and that is their food. Um, so to eat it with them and to bump elbows and to reach over their plate for this napkin or that and you know time and time again also I'll see the co-teachers uh, not co-teachers but other teachers that can't speak English they'll just be looking at me smiling and they'll say to another teacher oh uh, and point at my food and then one of the English teachers will say, will translate and say oh he says you eat like a Korean all the meanwhile I'm thinking to myself that's because I am Korean um, it really just opened up the doors and it allowed them to be able to uh, kind of embrace me because the truth of the matter is they want to embrace you. You are kind of a, a, a unique fitting for the school and they want to kind of see what you're all about and get to know you even if they can only say hi. So that helps to open that door. It, it really truly does and in my life, in my case, it definitely has. Uh, and there's no reason why you shouldn't. Uh, there's the food is very, very, very nutritious food. Um, there's very little preservatives, um, or not preservatives, but uh, processed food. Uh, and it's also very inexpensive. It costs me about fifty or sixty dollars a month to have lunch every day. Um, so I would give that a shot, um, and really kind of do it wholeheartedly. Um, you got nothing to lose. Uh, I can tell you for sure uh, that in my case, uh, it has definitely helped, um, even with the students. Uh, sometimes um, the students will peek in the, the lunch, uh, the teacher's lunchroom, and they'll just be sitting there looking at me, watching me eat, and they see me eating the food. And then afterwards, it even opens up an English conversation. Oh, Tomas, did you like the food? I'm full. I am so full. 
and you can just see it slowly spreads and, and it helps them to, to, to look at you as if you want to be part of the part of their family there at the school and part of the culture. So give it a shot. Um, it's not going to be easy every single time, but I think it's a great gesture and one that will pay dividends in the long run. All the best.